The cost to restore power to the North Carolina mountains after Helene is expected to be passed on to Duke Energy customers. Bob on your side's Keely Arthur is here to explain Duke's plans to cover hundreds of millions of dollars in expenses. Keely, this is a lot of money. It is, and it's going to affect pretty much everyone. It's been more than five weeks since Helene caused historic damage in western North Carolina. Even today, there are several communities that are still without power. Duke Energy says the damage in those areas is catastrophic, and they've used helicopters and specialized off-road vehicles to rebuild the power infrastructure. Now, all that comes at a cost. To pay for it, Duke Energy tells Five on Your Side that later this year, they will ask the State Utilities Commission to let them issue storm bonds. If approved, customers would see an additional storm recovery rider charge on their bill late next year or early 2026 to pay off all those bonds. Now, Duke says paying for storm recovery this way is less expensive for customers customers than if they just raise the base electricity rates. At this point, though, it's not clear how much more that monthly recovery charge will cost each customer.